welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we watch the sixth episode of Kiznaiver. If you want to see the sixth episode of Kiznaiver, check the link in the description below. It's there. And please leave your feedback in the comment section below because we love hearing from you. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding! So, Kiznaiver, episode 6. Um, heavy. Yeah. Quite. So we get into the background of Maki, <clears throat> the emotionless girl who said that she killed somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Naturally, it's going to be a pretty uh, serious episode. Yeah, well, we saw the heaviness coming, but still, it's... It is kind of hard to uh, react to in our usual way, just because of the you know the sheer seriousness of it all. It looks like it, that, that uh, arc's going to continue in this next episode. Mm -hmm. Well, but, uh, they're uh, looking for the answers to uh, mm. who Ruru is and how all that happened. But what a douchebag film crew, right? Uh, what a douchebag editor, because he know he you know he arranged it. Right. Yeah, he was just like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, she said no problem. Ugh. Douchebag. To do douchebag. Douchebags everywhere. And the other thing was um, all the all the onlookers. Right. I mean, you'll get that anyway. Just people people gathering around a, a TV crew trying to figure out what the hell they're doing. Oh my god, someone famous. But yeah. Um, yeah. They weren't, I don't think they were mocking, but I guess Maki thought that they were. It was, well, I mean. I'm sure that it came to a very, you know, a, a pretty big surprise that Maki was actually, uh, what was it, Charles D. Mocking Sensei? What a horrible name for a. I know. Yeah, terrible. But yeah. Even by pen name standards, it's Even horrible. by pen name standards, that was bad. But yeah, I'm sure it came to a surprise that, you know, one of their classmates was this really popular author. Well, popular when they were in middle school anyway. Yeah, it'd be like going to school with, I guess, the famous they made her out to be uh, like a middle school equivalent of Stephen King or some sort of prodigy in their field. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, basically. Yeah. J.K. Rowling, I think. It, more, it basically, it was really, really <laughs> popular when they were in middle school. Yeah. Yeah. And they author right out of their noses, so. Yeah. I actually got kind of well, like... I assume more the artist and not the actual author. Ah, there you go. But I actually kind of like the um, the way that the onlookers encroach and then just kept going between that and just the still camera lens. And all of a sudden you see a rearist, you know, visage and the lens that was just like oh man very good way to kind of get that emotion cell and like the walls are closing in except it's onlookers yeah so very very nicely done visual also really really gives the feel of um claustrophobic <laughs> claustrophobic eggs yeah, exactly. um i i really liked the breaking point that Maki, Maki had. Um, I kind of wish I could have seen the looks on the other Kiznivers when that happened. Right. Like how, how they reacted to it. Because when they snapped out of it, or when, uh, when we came back to where you could see them and what's going on, they really don't look like nothing's wrong. Well, they had already moved past it, and Tengu was kicking the ass of the of the film crew. Yeah, they just went into pure ponage mode. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think uh, this will hit the Kiss and Ivers on a more emotional level in the next episode, as they dig deeper. So what's the next power-up for their uh, powers? If I had to make a guess, I'd say actually being able to read thoughts, even if on a rudimentary level. Lord help us all. Yeah. 
Again, so you know what you're definitely feeling. would not want to be connected emotionally with teenagers. Yeah, and so you know what you're I feeling. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be connected emotionally to anybody. Oh well, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's very true. But teenagers, in particular, like even if I was married to somebody, I wouldn't want to know every single every single emotion that they felt. Or at least if they're hurting, you get a pretty damn good idea. I already get enough from facial express expressions and other body yeah. language. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm Rizzo. I'm Zero. I'm DK. See you, See you next time. time.